Hi everybody, it's Austin. I'm here to talk about great genre-specific books that you can find in our library catalog and in our online collections. And they're just waiting for you to check them out. Today I'm going to suggest some young adult books that are inspired by myths and folklore. First, I have Hood by Jenny Elder Moak, which is inspired by the story of Robin Hood. Isabel of Kirkless has lived her entire life with her mother, Marion, at a hidden convent. Having a strong sense of justice, she does not hesitate to stand up to the soldiers of the corrupt King John when they begin attacking the village. The leaders of the soldiers, known as the Wolf, sets out to arrest and, you know, probably kill Isabel for her defiance. To protect her, Marion sets her off on a journey to find the hero Robin Hood, who is her father and whom she has never met. Isabel must escape the forest, evade the wolf and his soldiers, and find Robin Hood and his merry men if she is to survive. Next, I have Freya by Matthew Lawrence. Centuries ago, Freya, the Norse goddess of beauty, love, war, and death, was at the tippy-top of her game. But now, in the 21st century, nobody believes in her anymore, and she is forced to live out her immortal life posing as a human woman named Sarah Venati. It's not a bad life, but it doesn't really compare to being a goddess. A mysterious company has somehow learned of her true identity, and this company offers her a deal, one that may return her to her full power, but at a steep cost. The company wants to bend the world of the divine to their will, and it's up to Freya and her very, very human friend Nathan to save the world. Next, I have Seven Endless Forests by April Genevieve Tchalka which is a retelling of the King Arthur Legendarium, but in this case, the Arthur character is the villain. In medieval England, sort of, a plague is destroying the countryside, and sisters Torvi and Morgan are struggling to survive. A rumor reaches them that the warlord Uther and her band of warrior women are searching for a magical sword that will grant her dominion over the entire world. Terrified of what her rule might look like, the sisters race Uther to the sword in the stone. When Uther captures Morgan, Torby must create a new alliance with a gang of magical outcasts and criminals to save her sister and the world from the power-hungry warlord. That's Seven Endless Forces. Finally, I have Lore by Alexandra Bracken, which is a fantasy adventure inspired by Greek mythology. In this world, every seven years, the gods are forced to walk the world as humans and defend their godhood against those who would claim it. During this time, if a human defeats a god, they take their place. Entire families train for generations for a chance to claim godhood, but Lower Perseus walked away from the business after her family was killed by a rival group of hunters. She's living a somewhat peaceful life in New York City, but at the dawn of the next hunt, she is visited by Athena one of the only survivors of the original Pantheon. The man who killed her family has become a god and threatens to conquer the cosmos. So with the promise of revenge, she joins forces with Athena to stop him. So those are my recommendations for YA books inspired by myths and folklore. To place holds for any of these books or any others in our catalog, check out our website at utdl.org. You can also check out our new bookmatch service where you can answer questions about your reading interests and we provide you with curated recommendations. Thanks guys, keep reading, and I'll see you next time.